Anyway, welcome back to uh, part 10 of my milling machine build. Uh, if you missed part 9, you can, there's a link up there now, you can go watch it, catch up first. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content on my channel. Now, I left you on the last one halfway through making that big round fly cutter. Uh, partly because I want to fit this stuff up before I start throwing too many more chips around. So we'll finish off that thing, fit these up, and then we'll have a crack at cutting that, uh, that table again. Alrighty, so uh, you may recall yesterday when I had it in here, that I said it vibrates a bit. So this morning what I did was I went right around it and I measured it everywhere to find the thickest and the thinnest point in it. This is the thinnest point here. And what I'm hoping to do is to balance it a bit by putting the tool and, and another piece on the top here uh, to hopefully balance it out. But we'll see what happens with that. And uh, But right now I need to mill the flat on here because the tool will need to be backward of centre. Because if I just bolt it straight on the side there anywhere, half of the tool will be in front of the centre line. It'll be above centre. It won't cut that well. So I'm going to mill a bit of a flat. Uh, I'm going to make a tool that is a half inch square. So I'll mill a one inch flat on here so that I can get an idea of where the centre is. Then mount it on the back half of that because it'll be rotating this way. I forgot to mention, uh, what you see in under here, they're the rollers out of that big roller bearing that I used back on the lathe at one stage here. I used the centre out of it as, as a... As, as some spacing up off the slide and he told me at the time when he gave them to me that, that I said what am I going to do with these things they're hard you can't do anything with them he said oh yeah but they make good spaces and he's not kidding because I've got three of them under there clamped down on top of them and they work out perfectly these uh, 12 mil end mills of mine might be blunt on the bottom but they're not blunt on the sides so I might as well get some more use out of them Well, I think that'll do me. Alrighty, so uh, I want to fit up these weigh guards. But um, I'm standing there looking at it and thinking, how the hell do I get a drill in there to drill holes and tap threads? And it would have been an absolute pain. Then I had a thoughty. I thought, why not just make it hold itself in place with some magnets? And I remembered seeing some somewhere while I was out and about the other day. It was a bit of a wild goose chase. It could only be one of three places I'd been to, and luckily, the second place I went to had them. So I went down and grabbed a couple of packets of them. I messed up the first hole there, got too close to the edge. And I tried to, uh, to cut a hole in it with my wad punches. But it actually split it on the back. And in the end, I had to stick the uh, pyramid cutter through there to put a hole in it. To, but anyway, so what I've done is uh, I've put them in the hole and I've now folded the next one up against the back of it, hit it with some uh, two pack epoxy, and we'll just wait for that to dry and see how it goes. And if it works well on the top, I'll go and put some down on the bottom end so uh, I can hook them up to the cross slide. I'll have to put that one down as one of my better ideas. That we can absolutely trade that. Beautiful. So stick that in your memory banks and feel free to use my idea. Probably not my idea. Someone's probably done it before. Well, there it is, viewers. Uh, it's finished. I've made a test a couple of test passes down here, and you can tell I was making a bit of noise because old mate's music's turned up full bore over the road. Anyway, I made that tool up, bolted it all up. That didn't achieve what I wanted it to, to balance it because it still wobbles a fair bit. So I might have to try adding a bit more weight around here. Uh, I'll move this over here in a second so you can see the finish I'm getting. It's not brilliant, but at least it's working better than that uh, other fly car. There it is. It's actually not too bad. Uh, I think lines in it, but I think that's because the thing's vibrating and shaking. 
But if I can get it a bit more balanced, I might get a better finish. But as I suspected, that's as far as I'm going to get up this end here. Uh, it's a little worse back on this side over here. And you can see a line there that I scribed in it just to, uh, to see how far I'd get with it. So that's not too bad if I have to clean that up a little bit along the edge and that little bit there, a little bit on that corner. The rest of it I should be able to reach and I'm a little tiny bit back up the other end as well. But so far, so good. It's not too bad. But it's getting late in the day. I'm obviously annoying old mate, so uh, I'll stop now and I'll tidy up and get back into it again tomorrow. Well, viewers, uh, I have a need to balance this thing. And I thought, I had a lot of thought last night, and I kept thinking, how can I add and take away weight easily? And I came up with this idea, being Mr. Unconventional that I am. Now this, remember I said this side was the thinnest side and this side's the thickest side, so it's already slightly heavier. So what I'm going to do is start adding nuts to this lot until I can balance it out. If I can balance it out. I have no idea whether this will work or not. Um, it just seemed like an easy way to do it. I've already tried it with just the three studs and the three nuts. It didn't do much. So we'll try it. Another three nuts and see how it goes. No, it's still shaking. Try some more. Believe it or not, that's actually making it worse. So I think what I might do is take this one out altogether. No better. Well, I'll just keep playing around with this and I'll bring you back it if and when I get it sorted. Well, viewers, the uh, balancing act was a total failure. Um, so I've just gone with what I've got here. Been over most of the table now. I'm just going to make one more pass up the centre, clean up this edge up here. And uh, I think, well, actually, I might have to make one more after that, a fine pass. But it's just chewing it up. It's bloody awful, to be honest with you. So the plan is to just to try and get it level with this and then somehow grind it. Well, that's it. Still quite a few good gouges in here, so I might have to uh, do another pass over it yet, much to my neighbour's disgust because it's pretty bloody loud. And I've been doing it in small amounts just to try not to piss them off too much. Just thought if I'm going to uh, make another pass over this, I should do something about turn this tip around because I'd made all, all the passes I'd made with the one corner. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's actually worn the corner right off it. So uh, it'll be a good move to uh, to turn it around and explain some of the crappy finishes I'm getting here. It's actually uh, performed pretty well, this thing. This is another one of those Descar branded tips that I bought. It's actually performed pretty well for a homemade holder, this one. The first sort of real thing I've made in uh, in the mill. Just hold it. We'll give that a whirl. 
My, 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 what a difference a fresh tip makes to proceedings. Don't know what happened there, something bit me. Uh, this line here is a bit of a worry. I fed it back across here, or across there to cut that, and then I moved it up and fed it back across here. It's a definite step in there, so it's telling me I've definitely got a tra still got a tramming problem. But I think I've had enough of trying to cut this. Uh, on another note, I'm, I'm wishing the hell I hadn't tried to weld these bolt heads up now, the bolt ends. I'd have been better off just letting them sticking up, and they probably would have burred up enough, burred over enough, so you wouldn't even have seen the damn things. Anyway, it is what it is. But uh, I'm tempted from this point onwards to try and grind this now, somehow. But I might have to check out the trimming again. And now that I've used that little little round bit, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, but anyway, we'll, uh, I'll sort it out. If you've been enjoying this video up to this point, how about giving it a great big thumbs up, smashing that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Keep up with uh, all my misadventures and misgivings sometimes. Yesterday afternoon I decided uh, to check something that I should have checked a long time ago. I was saying I wish I hadn't welded up all these tops of these screws. Really that's for two reasons. One, because it looks bloody awful. And two, it warped the table. Now, why I would ever have thought that I could machine that warp out of it is beyond me because the bottom of it where it's running on the of everything underneath here is warped as well and check this out it's uh you know look at it i tried running this over it yesterday afternoon and i made an even bigger mess of it so i've come to the realization now that while i've still got some material left on the top of this table i'm gonna have to go find somebody with a very big press maybe 20 tons something like that and see if I can get it straightened. Might as well call this an end because I'm just kidding myself trying to uh, straighten this up at the moment. And there are other things I need to get along with. Uh, so while I'm trying to find somebody to straighten this for me, I'll get on with moving this, uh, the mounting for the lead screw and a few other things. And I need to do some casting jobs and other stuff. So we'll come back to this at another time. So thanks for watching and bye bye for now.